Hello and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. I have a really quick bite for you today. I want to talk about Zoom settings that you will want to consider if you want to maximize engagement in your synchronous classes. So you have to go to your Zoom account from a web browser and click Settings. Next, click In Meeting Basic. And here are some things that you want to consider. First of all, enabling chat. This can be really, really helpful for students uh, and you to communicate during class if you don't want interruptions. Um, however, you do want to tell your students if you're going to be monitoring the chat or if you're going to assign someone to monitor the chat. This is the private chat, so if you want to allow your students to be able to chat privately with each other, that's up to you and also auto-saving chats. I think chat is a fantastic feature, and what I like to do is take a few minutes after every segment of class, I tell the students, okay, I'm gonna go through the chat and see what your questions are. The next thing I wanna talk about is meeting polls, and this will allow you to set up polls for your classes. Now, you can set up polls before or during a meeting, but if you even want that option to set up a poll, you have to enable it here. Next, we have screen sharing. You definitely want to be able to share your screen, and you can decide if you want your students to be able to share their screen also. So here I've clicked all participants. That means that all students will have the option to share. However, I do like uh, this one, the host only. Who can start sharing when someone else is sharing? Um, if you have a lot of students and if you click all participants, that could get a little bit messy. Next, we have annotation, and this is a fantastic tool. A lot of people don't know about it, but this will allow you and your participants to annotate and draw over anything, um, anything that you've shared on the screen. And you can allow saving of shared screens with annotations. And this is great if you're doing some kind of design project or something where everybody is, you know, interacting um, and sharing comments and drawings on a screen. Definitely whiteboard. So whiteboard is a, a big tool for most educators using Zoom. Um, do you want to allow your students to save it? I, I highly recommend that. And you can select what format you want the whiteboard to be saved in. Okay, next we have nonverbal feedback and meeting reactions. I don't see any reason why uh, educators would want these off. Um, this is a great way for students to be able to, you know, engage, answer questions, and share their reactions without uh, a verbal interruption. And finally, one item here under In Meeting Advanced is breakout rooms. So you must enable breakout room in order to have the option during your meeting to put your students into individual breakout rooms, which is really one of the most important tools, in my opinion, for getting students to engage with their peers. All right, that's it. I hope that was helpful. For more videos like this, check out the EdTech playlist. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.